The computing world has high hopes for the realization of quantum computers because of their potential to deliver overwhelming computing power, together with high performance achieved through potent parallel processing. Once realized, quantum computers will easily break through the limitations of existing computer devices to execute hitherto impossible computation at high speeds. NTT Basic Research Laboratories have successfully conducted an experiment to verify the principle of memory operations using a superconductor diamond hybrid system. This is an important step towards the realization of quantum computers. Quantum memory is a memory unit for a quantum computer. It serves the same purpose as that of a regular memory unit in a standard computer. However, what it stores are not the classical information constituents 0 and 1, but quantum information, which are superposition states. Superconducting qubits can operate at very high speeds and are highly extensible. The downside is that they have short memory time. To address this issue, NTT Basic Research Laboratories focused on using electron spins in diamond as quantum memory. Though difficult to control, these electron spins retain information for a much longer time. We have utilized a spin ensemble as quantum memory by transferring quantum information back and forth between a superconducting qubit and electron spins in diamond. We have also been pursuing development of a hybrid quantum device with a long memory time. A superconducting qubit is a relatively simple circuit comprising Josephson junctions. A current flows in a superconducting qubit from the beginning. This current represents the zero state. By applying an external microwave pulse to a qubit as a trigger, one can reverse the direction in which the current flows in the qubit. This changes the state of the qubit from zero to one. Direct current is applied to the control line. The qubit and the electron spins in diamond begin to resonate. This causes the energy to move from the qubit to the spins, and the state of the spins changes to 1. By controlling the direct current applied to the control line, it is possible to move the energy back and forth. Thus, we can write quantum information from the superconducting qubit to the spins, or read it back. The success achieved in this experiment suggests that the building of quantum memory, which is requisite for quantum computation, is not too far off. NTT Basic Research Laboratories will continue researching new devices with a view to making quantum computation a reality.